Hello, hello! This is Isaiah Ramos here at this new construction house at this beautiful, calm neighborhood. The birds are tripping, nice and calm. But without further ado, let's get started. So a beautiful facade, y'all. The builder really used their imagination for the stucco exterior. You got different colors, a lot of different accents, along with designs and crown molding wrapped around the two-car garage to the crown molding, right? Uh, I guess attached to the to the soffit of the roof, but absolutely stunning. I love it. And so you got the different kinds of stucco. So you got the stucco that's meant to imitate Cantera stone. You got this one over here and that one over there. But, you know, small, beautiful, gorgeous upgrades that you see throughout the home. But just wait until you see the inside. It has a lot of nice upgrades as well. But of course, landscaping is done. You got this beautiful tree. I don't know what kind of tree. Now, the only downside is you do have a transformer, but it's typically in between these two properties. And wow, you got the soffit lights. And then you got this nice and big spacious front patio. That is the exhaust vent for the dryer. And we'll see that the utility room is right next to the entrance. But without further ado, let's check out the inside. Look at that. Wow. So you get a beautiful conference ceiling, yet an interesting and unique design. Look at that. So it looks like three circular white circles and that's wrapped with like that gray perimeter around that, but it's not fully enclosed. Kind of reminds me of perhaps a chain but regardless, it's like a niche within a niche, but ultimately this is a conference ceiling. You have the beautiful metal fan, huge windows. I think those are like five feet tall by three feet. But regardless, you got huge windows in the living room. And check out this floor. It's all throughout the entire home. And this is of course the entrance. You get that gorgeous light fixture, double door entry, white interior. But of course, I know. The kitchen is the main attraction. So beautiful fixtures throughout this home. Very elegant fixtures. You got your quartz countertop, your kitchen island with beautiful designs on the cabinetry. You got the little windows on the cabinets as well, but the chrome molding on top. Very beautiful. Look at that design up there. I'll try to zoom in for you. That is nice. And then you had a niche up there. So if you want to add a little, you know, something or perhaps those portraits, that would be nice. But you get your kitchen island, quartz countertops, all throughout with gray veins. You get the contrast painted island. It's contrasted with black. And then everything else will be your white cabinets. You get your spice rack over here. Beautiful. And check out this backsplash. Then you've got your pantry over here. Now, I would call that a coffee bar, but there's no electric outlet. Wow, there's no electric outlet anywhere other than the one for the oven. But you do have a pantry, and I think that's a downside. But, you know, yeah, you gotta set up your coffee somewhere. I'm sorry, I'm just reacting to this, but it's an organic reaction. And uh, I didn't notice that there's no electric out. I mean, it's beautiful and all, but what do you use this space for? But anyways, you got this refrigerator space over here. And then you got this. Again, we're back at the living room. Beautiful, stunning. It's an open floor plan, so everything's kind of connected or within the same line of sight. But over here, immediately to the right, or to the left of the entrance, but to the right from the kitchen, you are going to have this hallway that takes you to the primary bedroom, but before you get there, you're gonna have the utility room, wooden shelving metal racks, and then you got your little quartz countertop base cabinets. So you got your space for your dryer, washer, and then, you know, whenever you're done drying, you can fold up your clothes and sit them up there and then take them to where you need to take them later. Oh, let me see if there's a way to turn on that light. Perhaps it, huh. I don't know how to turn on that light. There's an outlet over here. I'm sorry, a switch. Huh, that is interesting. Well, we'll find that light. Maybe it's inside the garage. 
Regardless, right before you enter the master bedroom, you got the AC closet over here. It's built by Payne, or I guess the manufacturer is Payne. I'm not sure if they're a good brand, but you guys let me know. Now that's a, that's quite the sight. Wow. Let's turn on the fan. Will it turn on? Oh, there you go. Okay. So you get a beautiful ceiling design. What I do love about this design is that you get an LED light within the space, or I guess the crevices of this uh, gorgeous ceiling design. And then of course you've got your two emergency exit windows. It looks like they're trying to make you set up your TV over here. And then your bed would be over here, but you could also set up your bed over there or over here. You got some autonomy. Now the downside to setting up your, dead, your bed um, on this side is that that would be a tight fit. You don't have that much space. So realistically, there's only two walls you can set up your bed. Because you wouldn't want to set up your bed over here or over here. You would want to set up your bed perhaps over there and maybe over here. That's just what I think. That, but that's, I'm only making that comment because they made a TV connection there. But I understand that, that setting up the bed over here could still work with the TV connected over there. But regardless, the only autonomy you actually have is with these two walls. So you got the entrance into this full bathroom. You got a single vanity on this side, but then you're gonna have your private commode right in front of me. Now, of course, we all know that a private commode is gonna have a toilet. Sometimes they'll have some floating cabinets with crown molding. And this is the little reveal. So the benefit to these sinks is that, of course, you got your own individual section, but this one has a little bit of space, a little bit more to the left. So for someone who's gonna be utilizing that space, of course, this would be the ideal sink for them. You get dressers and little cabinet spaces, but that's a nice plus to have. Now, of course, on top of all of that, you get this. <laughs> that is that is real nice. So, okay, all right. So you get a nice little rain shower head. It's not rain shower, but I'm sure it feels that way standing under it. Now, bear in mind, if you're super tall, this might not be for you because uh, that's the only limitation to this specific shower fixture. For tall individuals, you know, you have to kind of forcefully stay under, but at the same time, you can kind of perhaps pivot this, but that's about as tall as it, I guess it can support given the height that it's at. Then you got this uh, little niche over here. You got that gorgeous design that wraps around, but also completes within the niche. You get a sitting area, and then as you can tell, you got the pebble design. It's a nice little design. We'll go ahead and close this off. Now the benefit to this home is that it has a gorgeous closet space, y'all. So you got, of course, wooden shelving wrapped around the entire room, along with metal racks. But wow, do you got space. That's pretty good, you know. I've seen a lot of, uh, New construction homes where unfortunately the trade-off is the closet space or, you know, there's some sort of compromise. But with this one, they went all out in the master bedroom. I like that. So now we're back at the main area. And so uh, let's go this direction. So you got the carbon monoxide. No, actually, it's just a smoke detector here, but you got the guest room, you get the nice black modern fan here, single emergency exit window, and a not so standard closet space. Uh, that's always a plus. And then you got your full bathroom over here. So you got your sink, toilet, floating cabinets, and then another walk-in shower. Now this time it's just different tile, but they still, they still did the pebble tile on the floor, but regardless it's, it's nice to have um, a little bit, you know, a slightly different tile from one shower to the other. Because it can be a bit monotonous whenever you see the same exact pattern from the master to the guest bathroom. Um, but that's just me, perhaps. Let me know if you guys agree. And so over here, you got this little hallway, you get the ring shine, and immediately to the left, you're gonna have this guest room with another ceiling design. And there's a light switch. And another not so standard closet. Okay. Now the only downside is that 
is compromising a bit on the bedroom spaces. They're just a tad bit smaller. At, I think I, they should be a tad bit smaller, but that's to kind of give some room into the closet space. I think it's a good compromise to have because if we're being realistic, you're gonna set up your bed probably here and then mount your TV and perhaps a dresser to, or console, but that's about it. Everything else is gonna go into the closet space, but yeah, the, there is a bit of a compromise in the bedrooms. At least I can tell. I don't need the exact dimensions to be able to tell. So you got your full bathroom over here and then your walk-in shower. And again, it's very different, different tile. Now this tile has a bit of texture. However, it does have the same fixture, but, and also the same uh, floor and you know, the benefit is that it does also have a niche, but just a completely different design. So this tile has a bit of texture, it's pretty nice. Again, it's not monotonous like I've seen in other homes. So that's a little plus, you know? I guess something for the eye to appreciate. And so now, we're gonna go ahead and check out that two car garage. And hopefully, <laughs> we can find out if this light can turn on. So, Let's check it out. Oh. And it's not turning on, which I'll show you guys shortly. But you got a tire stopper over here. I would imagine that the little space over there is going to be for the water boiler. You get the breaker and sprinkler system. Yes, it is. And wow, they even got a TV connection there. So this is your two-car garage. And then you've got... We'll do the grand reveal. From the very beginning, I was questioning of whether or not we could turn this on, and unfortunately, you can't. <laughs> so I don't know how to turn it on. Is it here? No, it's just for the utility room. So there's no way of turning it on, but you guys let me know uh, any suggestions of perhaps looking somewhere else, or maybe one of these. I'm, I'm doing these switches real quick. Nope, they're not turning on. But regardless, y'all, I think this is a beautiful home. Um, you guys let me know what you think of this gorgeous property tour. I believe this is locked. So before I conclude, let me just check this out. Yep, it is locked. So that concludes the tour, but you guys let me know what you think of this property. It is bedazzling for sure. It's beautiful. It has its gorgeous, you know, luxury details. Here at Westlaco, Texas, there's a lot of new construction going on around here, as you can tell. And so you guys let me know. And if you guys please could share with your family and friends, don't forget to subscribe, comment, give me some feedback about my commentary. And, uh, but most importantly, you guys, God bless you all. I really appreciate you guys supporting me in spite of my beliefs. But regardless, God bless you all. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next one.